Hey guys, Big Sun here with more of the motion manga Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Eclipse here. Episode 5, the um, second, uh, second third of the manga here, in which uh, it's a flashback uh, chapter here, episode rather here, where, well, six months, uh, six months in the past here, we see pretty much the ordeal here with the treaty and such. Uh, how affecting them, Ord, the house, and basically just find the pie for the Eclipse Gundam here, which, <laughs> this is how they got the kid here to pilot, where he somehow stumbled upon the simulation data, tried it out, and he scored the highest. <laughs> oh boy, higher than the, co than the coordinator kid, I don't, like, uh, just to show you, genes don't really matter in the end when it comes to n raw talent. Alright, so there is also another worry I have here, and this is due to uh, recent news that came out. Like, if you've seen uh, Suede's, uh, if you're a fan of Suede here or anything like that, you know he came out with a video saying how Japan <clears throat> seems to be cracking down on anime tubers, stuff like that, so... Yeah, um, this video, I'm going to still try to release it on YouTube channel here, on the YouTube here, but because it's not for the public, stuff like that here. If, if they want to claim it, so okay, claim it, whatever. But, I'm re but any uh, serious reactions to anime, stuff like that will be, if they weren't blocked on YouTube before, they're still going to be sent to bit shoot, just as precaution. Alright, without further ado, let's just watch this. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. Princess, princess! Oh, uh, yes? I had zoned out. You want to rest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've... We moved on from the flashback to the present day here. So this is after that whole ordeal with like the supposed terrorists. They follow the follow up over the recent incident has been completed. Here is the report. These guys aren't. Without any problems, Equatorial Union and Singapore. Local who happened to be nearby at the night of the incident? Yes, good way. Ever happened. Do as I say. Terry interviews. We did some voluntary interviews, but of the opposing faction, yeah. I hardly think that anyone would suspect those people to actually comp Yeah, they, they weren't supposed to. If fitting, if we're befitting someone expendable. Exploited. To begin war! One more thing. I also carry a personal instruction. I've asked the orb companies within Singapore to do business with the port to actively recruit employees from the local labor pool. Give these guys job. Give these guys money. Good call there. They captured labor. We're also informed. Okay, wait. This is pretty. This is pretty loud, actually. Not pretty. That's. Nah, this is pretty good. Give me an active positive. <clears throat> well... Some would say, in out of context, stuff like that, that yeah, it is an act of hypocrisy. But, 
you know, I guess with that, what that uh, union guy said here were, when the world is bad, well, yeah. Not so long ago. Do you remember the incident with Hori six months ago? So that was a bit of a flashback of her reminiscing. But surprise, who would have thought that a natural like Lord, Lord Hori could surpass the, the precision rate of a coordinator like Lord Sue? <laughs> I like, oh boy, yeah. We, we need more situations like this here to break that uh, preconceived notion that, oh well, coordinators will always be superior to natural, this, this kind of subject here, when no, they're not. Well, there are only exceptions here. Like, at best, a uh, Hori is the second exception to that. If you want the first exception that was shown here, check out, um, okay, I forgot her name, but the Sakura Burst here piloted, he, she piloted a Buster Dagger, and then eventually a Sword Calamity, like, unit, a yeah, Sword Calamity Gundam. But my father's decision, too. So you're, huh. AJT. I <laughs> like how Karen born in the islands, one of Orb's territorial islands. Look how his parents are both natural Orb citizenship. The same goes for him. Then make better use of cutting edge variable. Variable. Yep. Then a fully trained coordinator. Yep. Talent does not care about Gene. <sighs> yeah! Use the other notes of simulation program, but result, but the results? How bad? Let me see how bad. The results were what? How bad? Let me see. They were nothing. We're below average, huh? Simple. The Gundam chose him. The Gundam chose him. Simple as that. <laughs> this is merely a process, but the recent core achieved higher mobile suit precision in the early days. Hmm. Is said to be because of their higher nerve conduction velocity. Yeah. Uh, during the late stages of the previous war, new OS were developed and the data on battle patterns were for the collected, enabling use by naturals too. Yeah, that is true. I mean, Ikira helped with that here, but. By all right, that's just for the orb. The alliance had to do their own thing, and yeah, um, as you as they more battle data is collected here because they did have because the alliance did have another coordinator on in the team here, uh, Gene something. Where he probably had a white uh, Jin. Yeah, that's right. Probably helped with that here. They just collected the battle data and such, and eventually. As well as strikes combat data they collected. Even so, when you the same, it is thought that coordinates have the advantage over naturals. Where, depending on the aptitude and training, an android can achieve performance equal to not only that, but one. Of ace level, yeah, that that's that is a fact here. Um, sometimes, like it's just a genetic uh, roll of the dice in a way here, where one in take your pick a number can surprisingly achieve, can be born with like higher this or that here, with higher a higher quality of this here. Like so, in this case, Hori. I mean, uh, in other words, he was born. The boy. It could be that he is a natural boy. He has that his natural born nerve system is a type that has the greatest compa compatibility with Eclipse. Mm, I like that you quoted your fingers there. Also made, especially made. With very particular quirks. Make sense? Even though coordinates have altered DNA, the genetic code is still synthetically combination of naturally occurring human genes, 
taken from the opposite perspective. Yeah, the, it's gen genetic polishing here. And I like how they're using this image right here. Like, this is... This, this image here is taken... It's like a, it's a manga version of what we saw when the coordinator boom happened. This is one of the kids that they were, they were working on here. But when he was born, I think the mother mentioned that his eyes were the wrong color or shape. I, I remember that. Surprise. If the humans were born by a chance with the perfect combination of genes, there would be no logical difference between them and coordinators. Except the fact that, well, there would be no science. Talk about a talk about a freak coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Is it? It's like. Cinderella's glass slipper fitting perfectly on the feet of an ordinary girl. That's actually a nice way of putting it. I like that way. What's the problem then? He's, best, he's the person best suited to find Eclipse? I like how his, his outfit here. So yeah. There you go. I love that reasoning. I love that. Okay, so we uh, first. I love how we finally get a closure here with what happened to these guys here, where the princess here made it. Princess Q Q here, whatever, uh, made it so these guys would just essentially be bystanders who were in the wrong place, the wrong time, nothing bad here, and possibly giving them jobs for the future here. But yeah, was what I is what I've done a mere act of hypocrisy. If you look at things black and white, yeah, it was indeed. But the fact is, the way the world, the way how messed up the world is, it's sort of like again uh, what we saw, what she said in the last episode here, where she said all this stuff to be, to be all the other options and such that could be taken here, and how the head of that ter of the uh, terrorist group here said, "Hey, you may be right. You, you by all right by all accounts, you are right." But when the world is this messed up, does that matter? Because, yeah. yeah, and we know, and we as fans know how messed up this world is, and know how messed up it's gonna be. Because this is still in the mid between the first and second seasons, first and second war. And so yeah, the science behind their, the explanation here they got with the whole, um, all right. For those of you who, uh, have anyone ever seen like one of those history documentaries about Albert Einstein and such here and how I think, uh, uh, an autopsy was running his brain here and it showed that his, that uh, like his brain was slightly big, an area of his brain was bigger or something, which could have led to his genius. I remember, it's, it's, I only vaguely uh, remember this one, people, because it was a while ago. But, yeah. And there have been cases of people with uh, genetic quirks. Uh, genetic quirks here and there that lead to some interesting development here. Like, mostly we hear about the uh, defects. Like how people are born uh, colorblind, in a way. Or, you know, uh, missing a finger, deforms. I think one of the more popular ones is from uh, Gravity Falls. Stanford Pines here, birth defect here. He had six fingers in each hand. Perfectly, too, by the way. It's like, he's, if anything, he's the lucky one there because I've seen some example of such things and some people, the fingers are malformed and such here. They're, they're not as perfect, but yeah. And yeah, there could be other cases here. Like we always hear about tumors, but we never hear the more positive uh, quirks, the most positive things these uh, genetic quirks can give to a people. In this case, yeah, like a higher, higher uh, imp nerve conductive responses. So hmm. in his case here, like it's tuned enough to the point where it matches perfectly with the eclipse here, and it's and it's highly specialized. Operating system. 
<laughs> Fine, whatever. I mean, sure. I mean, I guess so. And as, as apparently the as the father said here, it's like Cinderella's glass slipper fits fitting perfectly in the feet of an ordinary girl. Yeah, there you go. I mean, he's just um, he's it, it it would basically being like he has the skills to pilot the Alex Gundam. Basically, he's got the right. Uh, he, he may not have. He, he may not be a new type. Like like saying he's not a new type. I'm going. I'm going. You see here, people. It's, he's not a you. He's not a new type by any means. Yet surprisingly, he's got the usual skills, the right set of genetic qualities that make it possible for him to pilot with incredible efficiency the Alex Gundam. Hmm. Or maybe it's somewhat similar to what uh, Wolf said here, where what, from age, you know the. What's his name? Wolf. It's been a... Ah, oh boy. Age was something that... It was just... It's the bad taste in my mouth here that I barely remember any of the characters. But, you know, Wolf, the, the guy that was the ace pilot here, who... He was so cool all throughout the two the two generations he was in here, where he established that I don't need a unique, unique, unique uh, trait or ability to be a good... to be a damn good pilot. In this case... I mean, it's yeah, his little skill, all natural. Even though, but yeah, yeah. Let's think about seed here. They go a lot into the um, genetic, being genetically qualified for shit. So I guess, yeah. It's obviously, it, it's the same case as uh, I'm assuming the character of Sakura Burst. I keep forgetting the name. Rena? Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, there you go. There you go here. Um, hmm. The question is, though, is the... Yeah, the operating system of... Yeah, the... Uh, okay, the operating system of the Eclipse. Eclipse. Is it also made with being able to... For a natural to pilot in mind? Or was it always made for, specifically for, a coordinator? You know what, I'm going to go with coordinator, because they had, obviously, the other guy trying to pilot it, and he's a coordinator. But, <laughs> so yeah. Basically, this thing, this, as a coincidence, this bubble suit was a perfect fit for Hori. <laughs> the Gundam chose him. I think that though. All right, everyone. So uh, enough for fun. Enough fun with that. Here, thank you all for watching. As always, uh, kind of what you all thought. Like, subscribe for more videos. And also, you know, follow me on my Patreon. You know, support me on my Patreon and such. Until then, it's Nexon, and I'll see you guys in the next one.